1967 347 stroke of Mustang. Will it run? Will it even stop? So today I'm going to Nikolai's place and we are gonna fix up the 67 Mustang and uh, hopefully take it for the first test drive. But we're gonna need a few parts. We got a firm stud gasket right here and I restored the accelerator rod right here. Then we're most likely also gonna check out timing and we're gonna swap over a tall intake manifold for more power. Let's hit the road because I got sent on another mission for an even bigger part we have to go pick up. So uh, let's get that. subframe connectors and car spring spaces. We got some Global West subframe connectors for the Mustang and also some coil spacers. Raise the car up because it's real damn low right now with the headers and stuff. Let's hit the road once again and get to the shop. Is that a burnout? Can I smell a burnout? Is that a burnout? I don't know. Car guy things. This Mustang is not what we're wrenching on today. If you guys saw the last episode, we took the 347 stroke from this Mustang and we gotta put it inside a 67 Mustang. Hoo-yah! <laughs> now we got a bunch of small like things we have to do. And uh, knowing kid, I was about to say, actually we're uh, putting a lift kit in instead. Off-road stuff. And we got transmission, we got hitters, we got uh, all kind of things, small things we have to figure out. But then today, we're gonna do smoky burnouts, maybe. Maybe not. So one thing we're gonna swap on this 347 Stroker is an Elbrock and a Gap Performer RPM Performance, big, tall, horsepower, intake, I don't know, it has a lot of names, okay? All the things we're gonna do is put in the whole header system and X-pipe, and then we also got some Global West subframe connectors, as you can see here, that we're gonna test fit on the car, because uh, it's a side pipe car, which means the exhaust gonna run into where those subframe connectors are. So the new headers we're putting on the 347 does stick down from the chassis a little bit more, so uh, hit a bash. We're gonna compress the springs real quick, and then we got these uh, one-inch spaces we're gonna throw in there, just to raise the car a little bit. Also, it has low profile 17, 18 inch wheels. I can't remember. See already, it has been robbing the fenders and stuff like that. So just to get a little bit more clearance, we're gonna throw that thing in there. A piece of china. putting on a carburetor, the pipes sucking fuel into the cylinder head. And the, uh, the Wait, hold on, hold on. So right now we got the long tube headers inside the old, I was about to say big block, that's not big block, anywho. Oh. <laughs> okay, and we also got the spark plugs in, and we also fixed up a trans mount that had a little bit of trouble going on. Details, not important. And then we can throw on the new air gap, this, uh, distributor, that's not a distributor, that's a very big distributor. <laughs> 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 then we can throw the air gap intake on. Put up. How tall can we make it? DIY tunnel ramp incoming. Into gasket goes in the intake. <laughs> Mechanic. So as you guys know, if you have a SFI bell housing, there's always one bolt that you can tighten until you do one thing. And as you just saw in the timeline, we pulled the whole charade out of this engine just to tighten the last bell house bolt. So you gotta remove the whole intake, the whole carburetor, the distributor, everything. So we got the whole intake off, and now we're gonna put on the air gap, RPM performer, torque eliminator, more air going into the pump later machine. It has a long name, okay? So we got the new unit ready over here with a firm stead housing on. Sealed that up and we're gonna run a one inch open spacer. Uh, should be better for higher RPM applications. So that's good because this thing is supposedly revving out to seven grand. No, no. 650. 
Oh, 650. <laughs> it performs best at idle, okay? <laughs> so we got a new Felbro gasket kit here we're gonna throw on, and uh, then we're gonna silicone up the china walls and throw the new intake on. So right now we're putting gasket skin, even though if, if you ask me, I would just have used silicone in the whole thing, but Nikola wanted to do it right in all that, you know, his car, his problem. There we go, new gaskets in, and then we're gonna lay a tiny bit of silicone, silicone around the water channels, and then uh, we should be good. Ready? A full day of ranging. We are. Uh, uh, what the? <laughs> it's 10 p.m. Okay. It's been a day. It's been a day. We got the thing with the spring. <laughs> Only thing we're missing now is the six pipe. So after the X pipes in, hopefully we should be able to start it up, and hopefully the tires is gonna produce this white thing called burnout smoke. Woo! Catch it a bit. As you can see this clip right here, we found out why it would idle. Cracked intake manifold. So as you guys can see, the Mustang didn't really want to get tamed in this video. So what ended up happening is we have a cranking situation, maybe bad battery, a ground connection. The carburetor doing just all right as we figured out, but apparently the Edelbrock manifold that we got is cracked. Probably gonna have to throw a new one on there, maybe fix it with JB Weld, I'm not too sure. Ignition, can't really seem to get the proper ignition stuff going down on the harmonic balancer because it's probably the wrong harmonic balancer maybe, I'm not too sure. And then, the flywheel situation. As you guys saw in the last video, we put on a new flywheel and all that stuff. And before it was the correct one, which is 28 ounce weight, right? Thing. Yes, yes, Nikolai is nodding in the back. Um, <laughs> it's still shaking. Not as bad, but it's still shaking. So maybe we got the wrong flywheel, maybe it's sheened wrong, so it's a 32 ounce instead of a 28 ounce or something. I don't know. We didn't get to run it. You guys got to hit run and see it run, but uh, it's not drivable at all right now. It can't idle on the 1500 RPM or whatever, so uh, it's next episode. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe down below if you guys want to see more content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.